A comprehensive guide to securing microservices with OAuth 2.0. Step-by-step examples. Microservices have revolutionized the way we build and deploy applications by breaking down monolithic architectures into smaller, independent services. However, the distributed nature of microservices introduces new challenges when it comes to security. One of the most widely adopted standards for securing microservices is OAuth 2.0. In this video, we will provide a detailed, step-by-step -step guide on how to fully secure a microservice using OAuth 2.0, with practical examples. Understanding OAuth 2.0 OAuth 2.0 is an authorization framework that allows third-party applications to access user resources on behalf of the user, without sharing the user's credentials. It provides a secure and standardized way of delegating access permissions. OAuth 2.0 involves multiple actors, the resource owner, user, the client, third-party application, the authorization server, and the resource server. Setting up the authorization server. The first step in securing a microservice with OAuth 2.0 is to set up the authorization server. This server is responsible for issuing access tokens and handling the authentication and authorization process. Popular choices for implementing an OAuth 2.0 authorization server include Auth0, Okta, and Keycloak. Defining scopes and permissions Scopes and permissions play a crucial role in OAuth 2.0. They define the access rights granted to the client applications. Identify the resources and actions that your microservice exposes and define appropriate scopes and permissions. For example, if your microservice provides access to user profiles, you might define a scope like, profile, read, or, profile, write. Configuring the microservice as a resource server The microservice itself needs to be configured as a resource server. It should be able to validate access tokens and enforce the defined scopes and permissions. The resource server should be integrated with the authorization server to validate the authenticity and authorization of the incoming requests. Adding OAuth 2.0 client to the microservice To access the microservice, a client application needs to obtain an access token from the authorization server. The client application should be registered with the authorization server and assigned appropriate scopes and permissions. Implement the necessary code in the microservice to authenticate and authorize the client using OAuth 2.0. Implementing token validation. The microservice needs to validate the access tokens it receives from the client application. 
The validation process includes checking the token's authenticity, expiration, and whether it has the required scope to access the requested resource. Implement token validation logic to ensure the security of your microservice. Securing communication channels. In addition to OAuth 2.0, it is crucial to secure the communication channels between the client, the authorization server, and the microservice. Use secure protocols such as HTTPS, TLS to encrypt data in transit and prevent eavesdropping and tampering. Handling token expiration and renewal. Access tokens have a limited lifespan. It is essential to handle token expiration and renewal efficiently. Implement a token refresh mechanism to obtain a new access token when the current one expires. This ensures seamless access to the microservice without disrupting the user experience. Monitoring and auditing Implement robust monitoring and auditing mechanisms to keep track of token usage, detect anomalies, and identify potential security breaches. Log and analyze the token-related activities to ensure the security of your microservices ecosystem. Testing and continuous security Regularly test the security of your microservice by performing vulnerability assessments and penetration testing. Implement a continuous security approach to identify and remediate any potential vulnerabilities in your OAuth 2.0 implementation. Conclusively, securing microservices is crucial to protect sensitive data and maintain the integrity of your applications. OAuth 2.0 provides a robust framework for securing microservices by leveraging access tokens, scopes, and permissions. By following the step-by-step -step examples provided in this video, you can implement OAuth 2.0 successfully and ensure the security of your microservices architecture. Remember to stay updated with the latest security best practices and evolving OAuth 2.0 standards to adapt to the changing threat landscape. Please do not forget to subscribe to our posts at www. A to Z of Software Engineering blog. Follow our podcasts and videos available on YouTube, Spotify, and other popular platforms. Have a great reading, viewing, and listening experience.